I'm Sarah and welcome to today's video. So the title is like why have you manifested everything that you want and you're still not like fulfilled. So I mean this has happened to me on my journey where um, when I first got into my journey I was very much about integrating the ego. I didn't really subscribe to law of attraction or manifesting because um I believed in the soul connection journey and not really kind of like the material side, but then they kind of all blended into one at some point where I understood that, you know, I was the complete creator of my, my reality and, um, you know, I could create and everything that I was creating in my life was a reflection of my inner self, which is, is where I was before too, but it kind of just all, you know, all filled in and made a lot more sense for me and um yeah there was points on my journey where I have manifested everything that I have asked for and wanted like specific relationships um specific job you know very like specific things that I've asked for and I've received like a house you know like um and they haven't always made me happy. And, and this really has made me fine tune my manifesting and, you know, what I think is important when manifesting. So this video might help, help some of you that have had this experience. So it isn't really, what I came to understand is it isn't really about manifesting anything in particular. Like the end goal should never be a particular thing or a particular person. I mean, yeah, you can have a particular person, um, but if your end goal is marriage with a specific person, like what use is marriage? I mean, marriage is just a label. It doesn't mean your marriage is going to be happy. It doesn't mean, um, you know, I, like it's just thrown around a lot like, oh, I'm married to this person. You know, I love that they're my fiance. I love that, you know, Mr. Zed is, is, is so in love with me and is engaged to me and, and we're going to get married and you visualize the wedding and, you know, they could do the same with a job. Like I love that I'm an astronaut, but these things are just so irrelevant to happiness. Like, you know, yeah, you can have anything you want. I believe that I, you know, witness that. Does it always make you happy? No, because the things don't really make you happy. It's the feelings. Like, far better to have a deeply loving, committed, you know, amazing relationship with somebody than a rubbish marriage. Like, it's not the title of marriage that makes that relationship better. Like, there's a million miserable marriages out there and, you know, terrible... Um, you know, engagements, and that does not equate to happiness in any way. And the same with being in a relationship, like any type of label or any type of material thing, like, you know, a job doesn't make you happy either. It's the feelings that you get when you have a job, you know, and that's why I think it's really important. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm actually currently working on a journal at the moment to help with, um, Trig like working through triggers, integrating ego and manifesting, like all hand in hand. So, because I believe they're all really important. Um, I might do another video on that actually, like of all the things that I think you know can help because ultimately it's just about belief and feeling. Um, but there's many things that can kind of help you get into that state, and I think we're all you know, different things help help us differently at different times and help different people. So I think it's really important to integrate and work through any triggers and fears, um, as well as, you know, simultaneously to asking for things, affirming things and trying to manifest things. So anyway, back to the topic. So yeah, in this journal, part of the way that we've set it out, so in the, like, in the deeper exercises, we have, like, a love list and a career list, and it's not about mentioning what type of relationship you want, like, physically in a label. I mean, you can throw that in if you want, but the important thing is how it makes you feel, and then that is just meant to be a trigger for actually feeling it, and it's that feeling like I've seen it myself you know it's when I can get in 
I mean, it's having the belief. So if it's things that you don't care about that much, then yeah, you can bring, well, I mean, you can bring anything in without feeling it if you believe it. Like belief overrides everything. Like you can bring anything you want in if you believe in it, you know, and believe it's going to happen. But when it comes to happiness and having amazing experiences and really enjoying these things, it comes down to feeling. And it's like you're responsible for getting yourself into that into that feeling place. And I've seen it time and time again where I've brought in amazing experiences and things that I've really wanted. It's because I felt them. With my specific person, I actually got into the place where... I did a lot, like a long period of manifesting, affirming, all these different things. And that, it wasn't all of, it wasn't like it took me that long to get what I wanted from this person. It took me that long to get into the vibrational state where I could feel it in a very pure way without resentment, negativity, fears, issues. And I'm not saying that some of those didn't come back in but in a more manageable way. Um, but I got into a state where all I felt was pure feet, like pure desire feelings. I had this deep visualization where we were kissing within an hour. I had a message with that. I wanted to receive within, you know, two days that experience was actually physically playing out in the physical after, you know, months of manifesting that specific outcome. And it happened because I got myself into the feeling of it. Um, and I think that's really, really important when manifesting. Um, not only to bring in the things that you want, but also just to be happy and fulfilled and to bring things in that are actually, you know, gonna, gonna make your life better. Like you're responsible for your feelings and then they're just mirrored back to you through an external source and just simply asking for things really isn't gonna you know isn't gonna make you happy like your heaven on earth is inside and then it's reflected out your heaven on earth isn't like a marriage certificate or a car or a specific job none of these things are ever gonna make you happy alone without a feeling behind them so you like the car because you love how you feel when you drive a fast sports car it's exciting it's exhilarating you like the relation you like being married or having someone propose to you because it feels we've come to associate it with it feels more committed it feels more safe it feels like you're more loved and these are the feelings and these are the important aspects, far more important than just asking and wishing someone to marry you. Like I said, there's so many unhappy marriages. Being married means nothing, does not mean happiness. Being in a specific job does not make you happy either. You love your job because of the people you work with or you love your job because it makes you feel fulfilled. It makes you feel like you're helping people. It makes you feel like you're doing a purpose. You know, anything we do in life is only enjoyable because of the feeling it brings us. So if you want to bring that thing in in a good way, I think it's really, really important. The feeling is just the key to how you feel. And until you can actually feel it, then I think that's what should be written down. Like not just what you want, like in a matter of fact way. But I think it's really, really important to really go into it, specify, like, you know, if you want to write down some manifestations and bring something in, then, you know, write down, I want, I want to have a mortgage free place to live because it's going to make me feel so financially free. It's going to make me feel really safe. And then that's where you go into it and you go really deep with those feelings and you try to envisage how it would actually feel to not have to worry about all those things anymore, like how free you would feel, how you'd, you know, have all this extra money that you could do things with. 
I'm the same with a specific person. It's not like I want to be in a relationship with them. It's like, why? You know, what do you want to feel in that relationship? Really, the person means nothing. Like, that, like, shell <laughs> that, you, that you're connected to, because that's really what it is, um, it's not, you know, we could pick anybody in the world. It's not, I mean, unless you're, like, really shallow, it's not because they're hot, and it's not because of anything other than how they make you feel. Because it's exciting or it's exhilarating or you feel loved or you feel adored or you feel a huge spiritual connection. But it's always about how you feel. It's not because they're hot or because they're intelligent or because they're this. I mean, you know, maybe that factors for some people a bit, but it's not going to be ultimate ful ultimately fulfilling. It's how they make you feel. So if you want to bring, be happy, and you want to bring in a connection that makes you happy, you know, it's about feeling the feelings you want to feel from that. And when you're writing your stuff going into that, like how they make you feel, how being in the relationship with them makes you feel. It's so important. And I feel it's so easy to forget because people are so desperate, um, like for the marriage, for the wedding, for the engagement ring, for the relationship, for the commitment, um, that there's almost like forgotten that those things alone are not going to make you any more happy than where you are now. You know, you want to be more fulfilled in a feeling wise. If you're not happy and you're manifesting, well, I mean, you can be happy and manifesting, but you know what I mean? If, if there's something that you want that you don't have, then look at why. And it's not because you just want it. It's because you want it to make you feel some way. But actually, you kind of need to find those feelings inside of you first <laughs> for it to then show up. So it's all uh, all an internal job. A lot of the time with, with specific people and material things, we have to be really careful that we're not um, basically trying to seek things that we haven't found within ourselves externally which is why we have a lot of triggers with people because we want from them what we basically don't have in ourselves or haven't given to ourselves so you know if we're desperately chasing after someone that's abusing us it's probably because you know we're abusing ourselves on a deeper level um and so we're desperately trying to get someone who doesn't but we just keep on being drawn to <laughs> That's not one of my patterns, by the way, but let's say rejection, you know, if we're rejecting ourselves on a deeper level, we're going to just keep trying to get acceptance from somebody that just can't accept us because our energy is just not giving it out. So, you know, I think most of the time people mis misinterpret love a lot, that pulling, yearning, desperation isn't love that's your wounds wanting to be placated and you wanting to fill yourself up externally true love is like a really different feeling um but yeah that will be <laughs> another video so i hope this helped you a bit with some ideas when you're manifesting and um yeah i'll speak to everyone soon bye